folks, it's Jim from the Movie Rewind, here to review Francis Ford Coppola's The Conversation. Gene Hackman stars as Harry Call, a surveillance expert hired to track a young couple, taping their conversation as they walk through San Francisco's crowded Union Square. Paranoid and secretive given his profession and aware of how privacy is fragile, Harry keeps his business life to himself and is closed off to not only his girlfriend, but his colleagues as well. With a dark and guilty past, Harry finds history is about to repeat itself as his actions could well lead to the murder of the young couple if his employer obtains the tapes. The conversation is a perfect movie. It not only works as an artful thriller, but as a character study. Harry is the kind of character that has rules, fears, and history. He isn't just some bland character in the middle of some conspiracy, and his business dictates his personal lifestyle using payphones and living in an apartment with a triple locked door and a burglary alarm. He's the kind of guy that says he isn't responsible for the content he acquires and what his employers do with it, but you can clearly see it's on his conscience. It's a quiet, reserved, but brilliant performance by Hackman. A typical Coppola collaborator, John Cazell, one of the best character actors of the 70s and had practically an impeccable track record, is unquestionably good once again as Stan, a co-worker of Harry and possibly his best friend and supporter if Harry kept Stan in the loop, that is. Terry Garr doesn't have much screen time as Amy, Harry's girlfriend, but this tight film knows how to make every scene count, and her one and only scene gives insight into the kind of man Harry is. Alan Garfield plays as one of Harry's competitors who is deceptively nice at first, but wants Harry's success and tends to put pressure on him to work together. He knows the most about Harry. A young Harrison Ford is surprisingly intimidating as the right-hand man of Harry's employer who follows him and uses other ways of manipulation to get what he wants. And Robert Duvall makes a short cameo as Harry's employer himself. Beautifully shot by Bill Butler, so much of what makes the conversation is visual storytelling rather than just exposition. The technical craft is masterful with an impressive sound design piecing the dialogue Harry recorded and a perception of some of those words changed throughout the film. Well known for his work in the 70s, composer David Shire provides a moody, jazzy score to add to the atmosphere. Completed several months before the Watergate scandal became public, the conversation became ironically a topical movie for its subject matter and its display of surveillance equipment. In the same year he directed The Godfather 2, Coppola's The Conversation is still a relevant, ambiguous, haunting masterpiece in paranoia where privacy is only a delusion. That's it from the movie Rewind. Have a good day, folks. Until next time.